Kahalayim Yahweh Bashem Yahusha Bashem Rakakadash Rakata Yahweh Rakata Yahusha Rakata Yahweh Rakata Yahusha Rakata Yahweh Rakata Yahusha Kahalayim Yahweh Bashem Yahusha Bashem Rakakadash Double honors to the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man pushing his truth and faith and sincerity. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakal Kadash, Barak Adam. Tell you sincere listeners who may tune into this. Alright. And I just want to go into a, a lesson on uh, how how this truth and, and uh is is not what people think it is, you know, or like the the truth. Is not what you would have expected, you know, like in the world, you would think that the truth would be something that everybody can go to. You know, you would think that the man would be soft, you know, nice, different man. You know, you would think that the doctrine of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua would be, be be taught different. You would think that it would be different man who who taught who, who teaches it. You know, you, you would think that it would be in a certain way. And people mistake that because they see that the zeal that the men of the Lord have, you know, we, we real fiery, okay, we'll cut your ass out, okay, we, 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 we in the spirit, you know, we very passionate about what we do, okay, we not uh, scared to proclaim uh, the, the, the doctrine, okay, we gonna, we, we gonna push this word no matter what, okay, so, it's, it's not what people expect, and that's why people try to debunk this and come up against this, but you can't come up against this because this is the truth, and the truth is is it always over trumps a lot okay that's why everything else has been over trumped by this truth and now people are trying to bring this down but you can't bring this down okay because and, and, and the heavenly father set up everything perfectly okay that's why you got men with such zeal and, and, and so passionate for the lord okay but i'm gonna just go into the scriptures you know uh this is galatians chapter one verse one paul and the apostle not of man neither by man yeah so this this is not by man okay we didn't just uh, the, the man of the Lord didn't come up one day and be like, oh, wake up one day. Oh, I'm going to study the Bible. Okay. I'm going to uh, find out the true doctrine of the heavens. Okay. Oh, yeah. Esau, he's the so-called white man. I'm going to go. No, nah, that's not how this this works, man. All right. This, see, see, no, that's just the problem in this earth. Nobody reverences Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay. So, so everybody think that every everything that happens is is, is what something they did. You know, that people get egotistical and that's when that pride come in, man. All right, but they, they, they don't understand that Yahweh Bashim al Shah set everything up, man. All right, Yahweh Bashim al Shah set everything up how it's supposed to be. You can't, you, you can't, you can't set shit up how you want it to be, okay? This uh, Galatians chapter 1, verse 1 Paul and the apostle, not of man, neither by man. So, we, we was, we were not, we're not made apostles. Apost even the apostle Paul, he wasn't made a, a apostle by man, neither by man, and he was a, uh, a, a man of the word he he had came up he was a pharisee you know so he had came up he, he had came up in the scriptures okay he he knew the scriptures he he was a uh he was daily in the temples he he knew he knew about the word okay so so but he it said he wasn't made uh, a apostle by man because the pharisees and the scribes they was declaring themselves men and the lord by other men you know elders elder scribes and pharisees you know but the, the 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 apostles and and uh students of Yahweh by Shem Al by Shem Kodesh, okay, they are made apostles by our Lord through 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 the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach and, and the Holy Spirit of Rakal Kadash, okay. It says, but by Yahweh Shah Mashiach and Yahweh the Father who raised him from the dead. So look, uh, look, um, yeah, yeah, Yahweh Shem Al Shah, our they 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 rose us from the dead. This is similar to us. All right, because we was in a dead state. We didn't know what the hell was going on. Okay, you got men from all type of manners of life, man. Okay, and, and they was uh, aroused by the spirit. The spirit hopped up on them to be able to do this, do, do this work and proclaim the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, this not just no, this not no get together. This not no uh, fad. This not no shit where you just come, come together just to curse the so-called white man out, man. All right, this not what this is about. This is actually the doctrines of the heaven. Heavens, man. Or right, this is this is the truth. Okay, it don't go past this. Okay, so this is just is what it is. It can't. You can't go past this barrier. Okay, of what this is. This is the truth. Okay, so you can't come up against it. You can't say nothing about this. This Yahweh Bashim Al Shah set this up to happen. All right. It says verse two and all all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia. Grace be to you and peace from Yahweh the Father and from our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Who gave himself 
for our sins that he might deliver us from the present evil world according to the will of Yahweh and our Father. To whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Hamashiach unto another gospel. Yeah, and that's and and and, and that, that 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 that's what will happen because in, in the gospel of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know it's not peaches and cream, it's not appealing to everybody, okay? You're gonna have a lot of enemies, you're gonna be hated, man. You damn near gonna be put you you damn well could very well be put to death, okay? You're gonna constantly be afflicted, you're gonna constantly have people come up against you. Okay, so that, that that sways people to go into other gospels, and that's why all that's why it's people in all these different other gospels. But that, that's idolatry, okay? Because because Yahabashim Al Shah, he's stern, he's austere, okay? He uh they they they, they are austere, stern powers, man. All right, vengeful powers, okay? And 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 and, it, and, and, and there's no uh, white area with them, okay? It is it, it's what they proclaim to be. That's it, it, it's what the heavenly Father made this to be, and that's it, man. All right, it, it can't be nothing else, okay? It, it don't matter about what the hell you want or what the hell you feel, okay? It's all about what the Heavenly Father set up and, and what he wants and, and, and how he feels, okay? It says, which is not another, but there would be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Amashiach. And that's what's going on out here, man. You got people that pervert the gospel of Amashiach, man. All right, starting from Christianity, all right, Islam, okay, Buddhism, Judaism, okay, all these different... uh. Uh, the de denominations and in, in uh religions okay so to speak okay and then even people within uh israel who are so so believe take in the gospel but don't uh fully take it in with everything that it comes with all right they want to pervert it and turn it around but this is it is what it is the so-called white man he's the devil okay all these heathen nations they they're wicked they're going into slavery two-thirds of our people they're wicked they, they're gonna be destroyed and have to come back through the uh through through, through the loins of the elect man all right, these 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 are are mysteries that are being have been revealed through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shah by Shema Kalkadas that you cannot change. Okay, and it is it's gonna be what it's gonna be regardless of how you feel about it. Okay, and and, and the true man of the Lord, he's gonna constantly speak on this regard regardless. All right, why? Because that's that fire that Yahweh by Shema Shah put in us to be able to contain, uh, to so like it to be able to continue to push it with with uh with with the uh to, to get the point across okay basically it says verse 8 but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you then that which we have preached unto you let him be a curse so if you preach anything else in opposition to the doctrine that the apostles and elders of great millstone have uh been given from yahweh bashim yahusha bashim kakadash okay you you are cursed okay and let's go into that word accursed okay so so really if you try to do if you try to appeal to men if you try to do this for any other kind of vain reason if you try to uh try to step outside of of, of, of the truth all right because it, it might not fit everything that you believe or what you uh or, or everything that you think is right okay you're gonna be accursed all right let's go into it and that's why a lot of these people are accursed anathema anathema it says a thing set up or laid by in order to be kept. Let's go down. A man the curse devoted to the direct of woes. Yeah, so you pretty much are set up, set up and 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 devoted to to destruction. Let's go. It says a thing devoted to Yahweh without hope of being redeemed. So you wasn't cho you and you don't have no look if you. If you step outside of this doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah Bashim Kadash in its fullness 100%, okay, you don't have no type of hope of being redeemed, okay? If you don't accept this doctrine 100% in its full truth, you don't have no hope of being redeemed, okay? It says, a thing devoted to Yahweh without hope of being redeemed, and if an animal to be slain, therefore a person or thing doomed to destruction. So you're pretty much doomed to destruction if you don't believe in or um you know stick stick with your guns with this doctor okay so that's that's just that's just how ser serious this is that's why you have to uh come out with this this truth 100 percent, regardless of how you feel about the situation or what you think about it you know because it, 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 it otherwise you're just gonna be doomed to destruction okay it says for do i now persuade men or your house so we don't persuade men okay we don't persuade men all right it says 
I mean, Salakia, we, we persuade men, Salakia, but we're not persuading uh, Yahweh, okay? Salakia. It says, for, I do, for do I now persuade men or Yahweh, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Hamashiach. So, right, we ain't got to persuade Yahweh. Yahweh already, he persuades us, okay? And then it says, do, or do I seek to please men? We're not seeking to please men by, by what we speak, you know? If you if you not with it, then fuck you. All right, none of the wicked shall understand, man. All right, you either a heathen that's 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 doomed for destruction, or you either a two third heathen man who's doomed for destruction. Either way, you're doomed for destruction if you don't accept this doctrine or you try to come up against this doctrine. All right, why? Because it's the doctrine of the heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, man. Okay, you can't you can't you can't change that, regardless of how you feel about it. All right. It says, for do I now persuade men or Yahweh? We persuade men, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. We persuade men. All right, because this is the terror of the Lord right here. Okay, your way is being a curse to destruction. Okay, it says, for if I yet please men, I should not be a servant of a Mashiach. So if we try to please men, we're not a servant of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay, we, we, we servants to men. Okay. It says, but I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. So this gospel that we preach is not after man. That's why a, a, a normal man can't understand this shit. Or you got to have the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shah, by Shema Kodesh resting upon you to be able to understand this. All right. It says, for I received, neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, by, but by the revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. For ye have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jews' religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of Yahweh and wasted it, and profited in the Jews' religion above many my equals in my own nation, nation being more exceedingly ex exceedingly zealous of the trend of the tra traditions of my fathers. But when it pleased Yahweh who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the heathen, immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. So Apostle Paul, he was already he was exceedingly uh, zealous in, in, in within the Jews religion. All right. But it wasn't the, 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 the Jews religion wasn't um, fully um, it, it wasn't fully fulfilled because Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Was that prophecy that that need to be fully fulfilled throughout the Old Testament? All right. So when Yahweh Shah Mashiach came, okay, he fulfilled the 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 pro the prophecy, okay, and and it was it was and it was new prophecies being put in, into effect. All right. Um, through, I mean, Salakim. It when 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 our when our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach came on the scene, okay, he helped fulfill prophecy to the maximum, okay, and then that that's what caused the the gospel to go out fully okay so but apostle paul he was he was uh he was uh pleasing men with his zealousness okay but he he wasn't um he wasn't doing he, he was doing it through through he, he was zealous through flesh and blood but he wasn't zealous through the spirit and power of yahweh shah mashiach okay so it's a difference you can be zealous for uh the this world and flesh and blood okay but it, it, it could not be the spirit of, it, it, That don't necessarily mean it's the spirit of the Heavenly Father Okay So it's people out here who think that they In the in the right mind They, they being zealous towards the Lord But they really being zealous towards flesh and blood Because they not accepting what the spirit of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach gives you Alright and that's, and that's the doctrine in its fullness Okay and that's because you're not of his Okay that's, that's because you're not the sheep of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach Okay this Revelation chapter 3 verse 19 It says as many as I love I rebuke and chasten Be zealous therefore and repent So if, if, if our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach loved you Okay you will be rebuked and chastened Okay so you will be You know you 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 will be uh, Changing from your, your idolatry You will be changing from um, You know uh, your lasciviousness You will be, you'll, you'll be changing from um, uh, th Thinking drunk, drunk As a drunkard All right? you'll, be, you'll be changing from um, you know, you you you'll be correcting yourself from what you what what you, the the flesh and blood, or right? you will be coming into the spirit. Okay, it says, "As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. And be zealous, therefore, and repent." So you got to be zealous. Okay, you got to be zealous for or Yahweh Bashim Yahshua Bashim Kalkadash. You can't be zealous for your your yourself and, and what you think is right. 
you know let's go here be zealous strong's g2206 zelao zelao Thayer's lexicon related entry zeluo zeluo it says to burn with zeal to desire earnestly pursue to desire one earnestly to strive after busy oneself about him to assert oneself for one that he may not be torn from me Woo! to be the object of zeal of others to be zealously sought after to envy so look it's it's to pretty much to be hot for the heavenly father man all right that's why the men of the lord are so hot with this word man all right people who try to come up against they not hot for the lord like that man all right we the, the man of the lord man they constantly go on the on, on the streets week in and week out bro all right some like put, constantly put out videos week in and week out constantly study every day all right people people not doing that man all right people not doing that why because they don't have that zeal that the spirit gives you man all right you got to really have that zeal man you got to really be on fire and the only way you can be on fire like that is if uh the lord yahushua mashiach is supping with you all right if if you are being rebuked and chastened, if you are putting off the works of the flesh, if you are putting off the mortal mind, okay? This is uh, Titus chapter 2, verse 6. Young man, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded, okay? So, we're supposed to be sober-minded. Sober-minded mean don't be thinking with your emotions. Don't be thinking with, 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 a, with a drunken mind. Don't be thinking like a... Uh, like a like a nigga in the world. Don't be thinking like a uh you know with effeminate uh uh fornicator, man. Okay, you're supposed to be thinking uh thinking thinking soberly. How do you think soberly through the spirit and power of your Habashima Shabashim Kakadash by filtering your thoughts through the doctrine in the word that was set up for you to, uh the, the, the truth that was set up for you to 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 to, to be able to think clear minded, okay? It says, in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine. Okay, in doctrine. So that's how you show forth a pattern of good works in doctrine. You can't show forth a pattern of good works if it's not through the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim al Shabashim al Kakadash in its fullness. All right. Showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity. Okay, and that, that gravity and that sincerity come with your zeal. Okay, that, that comes with your zeal. Because gravity and sincerity is going to translate to your, you being extra hot for the lord so people translate that into uh people the, the man of the lord just being hate hate haters or just some some satanists who just want to just go out there and cuss people out and and, and and release anger okay but that's not what this is about okay that's not what it's about this is being angry for the lord this is being hot for the lord this is about uh pushing out the the, the true um vibration of the heavens okay it says sound speech that cannot be condemned. So look, th th this is sound speech. It can't be condemned. Okay, that's what the doctrine of Yahweh Shai Mashiach gives you. That that, that these others, uh, these other philosophies, these other religions, these other uh, different denominations, they don't give you a uh, sound speech that cannot be condemned. All right, that's why all those uh, those different religions and the denominations are being brought down. That's why don't no nobody is fully zealous. And, and putting in full full good works for those things because they they don't give because they can be condemned okay they can be condemned but yeah how about shim shot by shim kakadash okay if you fully got the spirit resting on you and you in the uh rights and, and you fully uh persuaded in your own mind and have faith within this you can't you can't be uh you can't be condemned okay this it can't be condemned it says that well it can't be condemned but you can be condemned if you're not fully persuaded in your own mind and fully uh adding your faith to your works okay it says that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed so if you contrary to the contrary to the uh doctrine of doctrine of yahweh shim al shabbat shim kakadash you gonna be ashamed that's what's that's what's gonna happen to you so you can't feel like somebody trying to shame you you gonna be ashamed if you if you contrary to this doctrine okay it says having no evil thing to say of you exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters and to please them well in all things, not answering again, not prolonging, but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of Yahweh, our Savior, in all things. For the grace of Yahweh that bring of salvation have appeared to all men. So so the the grace of Yahweh by Shimao Shai, 
uh, that bring of salvation have appeared to all men, but every man don't don't want it. That why because they're not meant for salvation. Okay, because they are cursed. All right, it says, uh, Salakia, Te teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our of of the great power. Yahweh and our Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto him, himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. All right, so that, and, and how do you be zealous of good works? We read that already by abiding in the doctrine of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay, now I don't have that much time left, so I'm going to get, let me get this in Isaiah 37. Isaiah 37 and 32. It's Isaiah chapter 37, verse 32. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, the elect, and they that escape out of Mount Zion, the zeal of the Lord of hosts, Yahabashim Shah shall do this. Alright, so the remnant that got that fiery zeal, Yahabashim Shah put that zeal on them. Alright, them. So Yahab, this is this is actually the doing of Yahabashim Shah. When you see men of the Lord so hot. All right, for, for this word, okay, so passionate for this word, okay, going so hard with this word, this is actually the Heavenly Father, okay? So so when these people say they, they, they things that they say against the doctrine that we teach in, 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 uh, in, in, what, in, in what manner and of delivery we, we push it in and how hot we are, okay, they're actually speaking against the Heavenly Father, all right? <laughs> but they don't even know it. Why? Because they're going to be accursed, okay, doomed for destruction, all right? This second Peter chapter one verse twenty, knowing this verse that no prophecy, prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So any, it's not one prophecy in the scripture that's of any private interpretation. Okay, and if it's not through the doctrine of Yahweh by Shem Shai by Shem Kadash in its fullness and sincerity, that's a private interpretation. All right, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man so the prophecy don't come by the will of man you can't say that you know the prophecy because of what you've been taught uh throughout this world through worldly idolatry and fornications man or right, through drunkenness okay you got to get it through the spirit and power of your house by shim yashah by shim man all right if you talking about you you coming in the name of jesus christ you 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 just off man okay you you coming with a with a christian doctrine you off okay you coming with your own mind and emotions you off okay that's not how you get prophecy. You get it. Uh, the the spirit of prophecy, uh, Salakia, the um, the spirit of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who you people call Jesus Christ, is the spirit of prophecy. All right, so you gotta have the spirit of Yahweh Shah Mashiach resting upon you to even be able to receive these prophecies and understand His word. All right, but holy men of Yahweh spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Simple and plain. So you can't speak unless you are moved by the Holy Spirit. And if you're not moved by the Holy Spirit, it's gonna show. Okay, it's gonna show. Let's get this in Acts 5 and 38. This Acts chapter 5 verse 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or, or this work of man, work be of man, so like it, it will come to naught. So if this work was uh, of man, it will come to naught. It will come to nothing. All right, you see this word is flourishing. All right, this word, this word is flourishing to the point where... Uh, Actually, the, the prophecies are speaking and not lying. All right, Habakkuk, the second chapter. All right, it says, but if it be of Yahweh, you cannot overthrow it. So you can't overthrow this, idiot. Okay, you can't overthrow this word, you idiot. The, the, the words we are teaching are the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Kadash. Okay, you can't come up against this. You can't find, it's nothing you can do. Okay, because why you can't overthrow Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah? Let's happily, they be found even to fight against Yahweh and you and that's what you're doing all right when you come up against this doctrine when you come up against this word when you come up against the men who are speaking this doctrine and this word okay you are uh actually uh fighting against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh why because he put the zeal in them to be able to do that all right it says and to him they agreed and when they had called the apostles and beaten them they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shah and let them go, right? Because the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach got power on it, man. The name of Jesus Christ, these other gods, okay, these other uh so-called um, you know, names that these people come in, they don't have no power in it, man. Yahweh Shah Mashiach is a true Lord and uh Savior, man. His name means he is the deliverer. He he saves. 
Okay, so so that so when you when you coming in the name Yahweh Shai Mashiach, you are actually coming uh with, with, with the power of, of, of heaven behind you. And, and, and uh if you come in, in sincerity, or if, if if your sincerity and your godliness is 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 is, is, is for real, okay, you're gonna be coming in a hundred percent doctrine of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, okay? So and, and that's why the apostles was beaten, okay, because when you, when you, cause, cause, cause the words of Yahweh Shai Mashiach got power on it, man. That's why these people be throwed the fuck off, all right? Cause they don't understand it. They don't understand. They, they don't, they don't understand this. Like how, how are men so, uh, bold within the doctrine, all right? Because the, the, the spirit of Yahweh Shai Mashiach is on them, man. All right, Jesus Christ ain't gonna give you that spirit, man. All right, Jesus Christ. Pushes a, a a spirit of of of, 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 of sodomy, all right, and, and, and effeminate, being effeminate, okay. Men don't ain't, ain't nobody burning up like the men of Yahweh Bashim Yashai Bashim Kodesh who are sincere, okay. Coming in the full of darkness, all right. This Romans chapter ten verse two, it says, "For our brethren record that they have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge." So you look, we got a zeal of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, but it's not according to knowledge. We got a zeal of God. All right, but it's not according to knowledge. These people don't understand God. Okay, they don't understand Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Okay, they don't understand it. All right, so they just look at us just like some some niggas who just coming together, throwing 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 some garments on. You know, who want to just go out and cuss people out. All right, put some fringes on and just and, and, and just just some niggas with garments on who reading out the Bible. All right, interpreting it how they want to interpret it. All right, that's like, well, that's really what they think about Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Kodesh. All right, let's get this. This Luke chapter uh, 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, Yea, are they which justify yourselves before men? That's these people of the world. They justify themselves before men. Okay, so they, they speak their doctrine. They speak their beliefs. All right, to, to justify themselves to others. So they could be like, oh, yeah, that is right. Yeah, why would it be like that? But they're not trying to uh, seek Yahweh by Shem Shah to justify them from their wickedness. Okay. It says, but Yahweh know if your hearts, yeah, Yahweh Bashim Yashad know all you niggas' minds, all right? Because that word heart in the Le Hebrew is lob. So Yahweh Bashim Yashad know what you niggas uh, got, got, got in your minds, okay? He know y'all not uh, sincerely seeking to please him. Y'all sincerely seeking to please yourselves and, and debunk Yahweh Bashim Yashad, okay? It says, for that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of Yahweh. Yeah, that which is uh, highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of Yahweh. All right, so all these niggas in these churches, all, right, all these different uh, 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 so-called men who, who, who are servants of the Lord, all these different so-called, uh, you know, uh, knowledgeable, educated people. Yeah, they they are abomination to the heavenly Father. Why? Because they ain't coming in in the spirit of the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. All right, and they, and they reject the doctrine. Okay, this uh First Corinthians chapter three verse nineteen. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh. So the wisdom of this world is foolishness, Yahweh. Anything that you try to come up with as a defense towards the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim is foolishness. Okay, for it is written, He take of the wise in their own craftiness. So Yahweh Bashim Yashai take of the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord know of the thoughts of the wise that they are vain. The thoughts of the wise are vain. Okay, you so called wise people in this world who think y'all know some shit. Don't, 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 your thoughts are vain, man. Okay, gotta get ready to wrap it up, man. I'm gonna just get this last one. I pray through spirit and poverty. How about Shema? Shout this edifying for you. Okay, this is 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 25. It says, Thrice was I beaten with rods, once was I stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck in a night and day, a night and a day I have been in deep in, in, in the deep. And why was this? Why was Apostle Paul going through all these afflictions, man? To the point where he was getting put to death. All right. To the point where he was getting being shepherd, thrown in prison. Okay. You know, uh, always fleeing from men. Okay. Always was caught sparking up upwards because that's what the zeal of Yahweh Shemel Shah do. That's what the doctrine of Yahweh Shemel Shah do. Why? Because it's not uh it's not according to the flesh. It's not according to the wisdom of this world, man. All right. It's not according to how these people thinking. Okay, so it le it lets you know that the uh ways of Yahweh Shemel Shah is way beyond anything that you could think of, man. Okay.
anything that you can understand. All right, and you gotta come into the spirit and probably how about Shimon Shah by Shimon Kapadash to be able to understand it. All right, and if you try to come up against it or find, you know, or 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 or, or, or come up against the man that you how about Shimon Shah set up to speak this word, okay, you gonna you you gonna be ashamed, man. All right, but with that, you know, I'm gonna give our praise to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shimon Kapadash. All right, double honors to the apostle and elders of Great Millstone rule well. And peace and salutations to the house of David. Shalom to the elect.